Melania Trump, the wife of Donald Trump, spoke a short while ago in the Philly suburbs. She talked about how she wants to combat negativity on social media. Take a listen. Our culture has gotten too mean and too rough, especially to children and teenagers. It is never okay when a 12-year-old girl or boy is mocked, bullied, or attacked. It is terrible when that happens on the playground, and it, it is absolutely unacceptable when it's done by someone with no name hiding on the internet. Mrs. Trump distinguished between cyberbullying of children and cyberbullying of adults, but some would argue that adults do set an example, and Mrs. Trump might, might, might want to take a look at her husband's Twitter feed. He's been called a cyberbully himself. Here's some random tweets from his timeline, April 24th, 2013. Quote, I promise you that I'm much smarter than Jonathan Leibovitz. I mean, John Stewart at The Daily Show, who, by the way, is totally overrated. Strange invocation of John Stewart's real name. On March 22nd of this year, Trump tweeting, quote, Lion Ted Cruz just used a picture of Melania from a GQ shoot in his ad. Be careful, Lion Ted, or I will spill the beans on your wife. September 5th, 2015, Trump wrote, quote, Meghan McCain was terrible on The Five yesterday, angry and obnoxious. She will never make it on TV. Fox News can do so much better. Okay, joining me now, Deputy Campaign Manager for the Trump campaign, David Bossie. David, I have to be honest here. I don't know any major public figure in America who launches more personal negative attacks against people via social media than Donald Trump. If it's not okay for kids to do it, why is it okay for Donald Trump to do it? Well, first of all, what an amazing speech by Melania Trump. Uh, just, you know, this is uh, not her thing. She's not a public speaker. She's uh, not been out on the campaign trail. And for her to come out today and really deliver what I think is uh, a speech that uh, people are going to remark about for a long time uh, is, is a wonderful thing for Mr. Trump and our campaign. Uh, she did an amazing job to make people like me, uh, parents, uh, uh, really focus on what their children are going through. And I think, uh, you know, everybody can agree that uh, cyberbullying of children needs to be addressed here in America. Now, Mr. Trump takes on his opponents and takes on the liberal media. That's not cyberbullying. That's not hiding behind. Cyberbullying mostly is people hiding behind things. Mr. Trump takes on those who take him on, and he takes them on directly and forcefully. That has nothing to do with cyberbullying. Actually, a lawyer with the internet safety group Wired Safety described Mr. Trump's behavior in the New York Times as a textbook example of cyberbullying. She said his methods were characteristic of, quote, mean girl cyberbullying because he goads his followers on Twitter into parroting his attacks. This expert saying Donald Trump is exhibit A. Yeah, I don't know what ex what expert, so-called expert, that would be. I can tell you when Jon Stewart or Saturday Night Live or any other member of the media, especially comedians, go after Mr. Trump, uh, you know, getting it back is called getting it back, not cyberbullying. I think you're just, uh, and, and whoever this expert is, is just kind of misplacing it. In a radio interview, Senator Kelly Ayad, a Republican in a very tight race in New Hampshire, and who, who is, by the way, voting for Mr. Trump, Senator Ayad said she would not want her daughter in a room with Donald Trump, and part of why is that Access Hollywood tape, of course. What would your message be to Senator Ayad? Uh, my message to Senator Ayotte is, 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 is quite simple. Thanks for your vote. Uh, just like uh, a majority of people in New Hampshire are going to be voting for Donald Trump on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to win New Hampshire, and it's going to be because people like Senator Ayotte uh, are voting for Donald Trump. And, and I'm, I'm excited about uh, where the polls are. We have new polls out just in the last couple of days, including today, that show at a dead heat in New Hampshire. We're rising across uh, the country, and it's going to be a great day uh, in New Hampshire on Tuesday when Donald Trump wins. And, and, and it's going to be a great day because Kelly Ayotte is going to win her reelection as well. So the thing is, she's addressing something uh, in her comments about not wanting her daughter in the same room as Mr. Trump uh, that Hillary Clinton is also talking about, which is the concerns that so many voters have, including and perhaps especially women voters, the alleged groping of women, uh, his comments about women that are the focus of right. Hillary Clinton's closing argument on TV. Uh, take a listen to this ad. Grab him by the And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. 
more accusers coming forward to say they were sexually assaulted by Donald Trump. And I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed. Donald Trump walked into the dressing room while contestants, some as young as 15, were changing. So a lot of that, of course, just Donald Trump's own words. David, what's your message? I've known you for a long time. I've never heard you talk that way about, about anyone, but especially about women. What do you tell a Republican woman who wants to vote for Donald Trump, but she, but she sees that well, ad, and it's just Donald Trump's own words, and it, she thinks it's repellent? Well, first of all, Jake. What would you say to her? Yeah, first, first of all, that's desperation. What that ad is shows you when she goes, when they go low, we go high, all of that's right out the window. They're in the gutter. All they have is fear mongering. All they have is this. Uh, I can tell you, I wouldn't want my daughter. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't, Jake. I wouldn't want my daughters in the same room with Bill and Hillary Clinton. I can assure you of that. One is a serial predator, and the other one is somebody who attacks the women that he preys on. So I can tell you. But how is how is Donald Trump? Hillary 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 Clinton shouldn't be in the room with children. There are now a dozen women. There are now a dozen women who have come forward and said, yes, what you heard Donald Trump say on that Access Hollywood video, he actually did that. Take his word for it. Fact there's check. No, hey, true. Jake, 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 w w there's no evidence that any of that is true. OK, what, what, what you're doing is rehashing well, the, the story women, the from the The women's accounts and contemporaneous accounts there's none, from them telling their no, friends and family. No, there's not one shred of not one shred of evidence. Not one shred of evidence. Mr. Trump has said it's not true, and it's as simple as that. I don't when you say not shred one shred of evidence, somebody's first hand shred, on the record has named per, account has, and contemporaneous accounts of their friends no and family. One that, has, that's not no evidence. One has, Jake, not one person has come forward as a witness to anything other than people who were put up by Gloria Allred and the DNC and the Clinton campaign. So we dis, we dismiss all of it. Except they're just describing what Donald Trump says on that tape is is his behavior. It's his own words. No? All right. David Bossy, thank you so much. No. Appreciate it.